Hello everyone, Oyster Mushroom Expert here. The theme of the video is waterlogged substrate. Such a substrate does not grow well, green mold, bacteria often grow inside the block, and then ugly oyster mushrooms form. If we do a moisture analysis and know that the substrate has a moisture content of 68% or 70%, how do you know if it's wet or not? If the mycelium occupies the substrate well and then gives a good harvest, within 22-25% to in two waves, then the moisture content of the substrate is good. What exactly should be the humidity, and how it depends on the method of heat treatment of the substrate, we will consider today in this video. Humidity in the substrate can be internal or external. External humidity means that water is between the particles of plant material, and it gradually flows down the bag during incubation. The mycelium cannot use such water for its nutrition. Internal moisture means that water penetrates directly into the particles of the substrate, into pieces of straw or into sunflower husks, or into cotton waste. Mycelium enzymes use this internal moisture, they dissolve the nutrients of the substrate outside their hyphae with it and then the hyphae themselves absorb this solution. This is how mycelium feeds and grows throughout the entire volume of the mushroom bag. What should be the humidity for different methods of heat treatment of the substrate? Hydrothermy is a method of processing raw materials in a tank with hot water, at a substrate temperature of 68 to 73 degrees Celsius. The humidity of the substrate should be 68, maximum 69%. Firstly, you must choose a method that is suitable for your raw materials so that the mycelium grows quickly in the substrate. I have a video about hydrothermy, where I tell you how to properly process the substrate. Perhaps you have read or seen advice on the internet, pour boiling water for 3 hours and everything will be okay. If this method suits you, you can do it. But if your substrate is wet and your mushrooms are dying, you need to change the temperature or the processing time. Secondly, it is important to follow all the technology, from start to finish. If you do one thing and forget about something else, your substrate will be spoiled. It is very important to insulate the containers where you heat the substrate. Even if you have heard or read that this is not important and another mushroom grower has no problems, although he did not insulate the tanks. My advice to you, when your substrate is okay, you can also not insulate the tank. But if everything is bad and you have black or green mold and soap substrate, you must insulate the tank with foam from the outside. Because when raw material in a polypropylene bag touches the walls of an uninsulated tank, some of the raw material cools down. There are spores of mold and bacteria that have not died. Since the processing temperature was lower than 68 degrees Celsius, then you mix this portion of the substrate with the rest of the well-treated substrate and spread mold spores throughout the mass of the substrate. Pasteurization in the tunnel if you follow the substrate tunneling technological map, you can increase the humidity to 72 to 73 percent. Tunnel substrates are usually multi-component mixtures of different types of straw and hay. Often this mixture also contains sunflower husks. If the mycelium grows well, then the higher the percentage of humidity in this range of 70 to 73 percent, the more likely it is that the crop will be good especially in the second wave, because the fungus will use dissolved nutrients. Let's take a look at the blocks that are no longer yielding in the grow chamber. If you put them outside, they begin to fruiting again. In the spring, after rain, moisture enters the slots. The substrate comes to life and if there are nutrients left, the mushrooms begin to use it. That's all for today, bye everyone.